Valentine is, is remote, and so our, our primary options for heating elements are electricity, fuel oil, and propane. Of those, propane's a great option in terms of accessibility. We had very little infrastructure to build to get propane to our burner. Propane is just a really clean gas for us to use inside this building for the brewing of beer. You couldn't find good craft beer in Valentine, and it made us mad. So we decided we wanted good craft beer. We thought that the combination of doing something that we loved in a place that we love was just too good to pass up. The thing about our beer is we use only the best ingredients, and the biggest thing is our water. So our water is using pure aquifer water underneath the sand hills. It's not treated, it's not filtered. With breweries, everybody buys their ingredients from the same places, but our water is the difference. So at Bolo Beer, quality of product is our primary concern. So when we're looking at different processes, we had the option to use a steam boil system that's electric, but the traditional style is to use an open flame to boil and to brew your beer. Propane for us was kind of a no-brainer. The process of brewing is pretty easy. The first part of the process is the mash tun. And that's where you mix the milled grain with hot water to make your wort. From the mash tun, you send the wort to the boil kettle. At Bolo Beer, we use propane to heat our boil kettle. The boil kettle is the last part of the brewing process, and it is 300 working gallons. Once the boil kettle's full, it usually takes about an hour to get to a rolling boil. We typically run a full boil for 60 to 90 minutes. After boiling, we send the hot wort through the chiller, then after that, it goes to the fermenter. After the beer's fermented, it gets cold crashed, carbonated, and then put into beer kegs. We continue to use propane because it's a reliable source for us. We have two really good suppliers in town. We've never had a problem running out or even running low. We really strive for zero waste, and so it's important that our fuel matches that. The Sand Hills is a fragile system, and it's important that we leave that system in, in good shape for the next generation. So using a fuel that has no chance of, of contamination is real valuable to us. The building that houses the brewery right now used to be a diesel repair shop. It had 50 years of diesel soot that we had to clean off the walls before we could get anything going in here. Once we got it all cleaned, we were able to start piecing together all the different parts that make up the tap room. Our tap room is really important to us and our brand. We use it to bring community together. We allow dogs, kids. We want this to be a really inviting place where people feel comfortable and they might meet someone new. And Bolo Beer Co. to Valentine is more than just a tap room. Uh, we're a manufacturer and we're, we're working on creating jobs to create product that's brewed in Valentine but exported throughout Nebraska and South Dakota and, and potentially other states. Local is very important to us, and so this is, this is kind of an extension of that um, in terms of just building the local economy and supporting Valentine and the Sand Hills. The Sand Hills is, is nothing if not independent. So given the remoteness, propane's important for a lot of these operations that might be 60 miles from a community. We have electricity, we've got fuel oil, and having propane provides another option when businesses are looking at expanding or when businesses are looking at locating in Valentine. Having that flexibility to meet those energy needs is very important to us.